Okay, hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Christopher here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the new Ford Sync 3 infotainment system. I'm making this video so I don't have to explain it in each and every single video and get in the detail about it. I'm gonna give you this full tutorial so you can see the infotainment, the Sync 3, the navigation, the cell phone controls, and the radio system that's all new this year for the 2016 and 2017 models. So this year they went uh, with BlackBerry, the QNX system for their Sync 3. They got rid of last year's model, which was the Microsoft uh, MyFord Touch, touch screen. They went with BlackBerry, uh, where they have vast improvements in the, the touch screen. The interface is seamless. It quickly flows through screens. As you can see, there's a lot of different um, seamless connections, just like a smartphone. When I touch the screen, it's very responsive. Uh, the layouts and colors, you got this nice, bright, almost sky blue background, which makes it very easy to see and doesn't show uh, my fingerprints as I'm walking around and typing through this. And the white makes it very easy uh, to look. They've also added two new touch capabilities, uh, the pinch to zoom and the swipe mechanisms, which really helps um, when navigating through the system. So I'm gonna start off right on the home screen here. Let's take a look at this home screen. It does have three different squadrons, uh, the navigation, your entertainment, and your cell phone controls. Uh, the tile like, icons dominate below here so you can see you can access your settings and your audio very easily with these tile like options it makes it very easy to push along the bottom so that's your home screen let's get right into it um, i'm going to start with the radio so there's a couple different ways you can display the radio when i hit uh, the audio you can use the regular buttons that come with the vehicle um, down below or you can use the touch screen here so let's start with the sources there's multiple ways to play your music as you can see we have the AM the FM the Sirius satellite radio which Ford gives you free for the first six months the regular CD player and your Bluetooth stereo it's also important to note that you can plug in uh, USB thumb drive or your cell phone and play music that way um, There'll be a sixth icon that pops up there if you have songs on your phone as you can see I'm plugging my phone in now um, And it should uh, pop up there it is HT HTC one and it's gonna automatically preload my music The AM FM is pretty easy to use um, you do everything on the touch screen where basically you can do a direct tune and I can pick the station that I want. If I want 89.90 or 89.9, you can pick the station and then it's gonna automatically uh, go to it and I can save my presets just by clicking and holding there. It's very easy once you get used to it. There's three different levels of presets so you can have up to 18 presets. Uh, AM and FM are pretty much the same, so I won't go through both those. Um, the Sears satellite is very neat. Again, it sounds great. Uh, there's over uh, 200 something channels, but the, how, it, how you operate this with this Sync 3 is very neat. Um, you can, again, just like the regular radio, do a direct tune. If you know the station, if I want to go to station 80, I can just type in 80 or 8, and it's going to take me right to that station. And again, you can save your preset just by clicking and holding there your preset. Uh, again, there's up to 18, just like the regular radio. And here's where it gets a little different. Uh, and you can search your stations using this channel guide. See, I can browse through the different categories and genres. If I want to find kids stations, I can find stations for my kids and there they all are and I can just pick it there. And you can also just scan right through the 
the stations there and, and cycle through and, and pick which station. You can find, like I said, your categories. One of my favorite features about using the XFM um, Sirius Satellite Radio is this replay feature. So if you hear a song that you like and you want to listen to it again, it actually has a recorder and you can play back what you've already listened to. Um, so you could repeat songs or if you miss a news broadcast, you can play it back as long as you've already listened to it. Uh, so that's pretty neat. There's tons of stations on the satellite radio. Um, CD is pretty straightforward. I don't have a CD here. Um, they're becoming obsolete nowadays. Um, but it's pretty easy when you pop the CD in, you can use the touchscreen. Why the CD is becoming obsolete? Mainly because obviously a lot of people have the songs on their cell phones and MP3s that they can play through Bluetooth. So once I uh, pair my phone, I can play songs right through the Bluetooth here, uh, making it wirelessly. Um, a lot of cool features, right? If my son wants to select a song, I can just pass my phone right to the back and he can do it all wirelessly. There's no auxiliary cables or anything like that to use the Bluetooth stereo. Uh, so that kind of covers the main ways you can play music. Um, most people that they use is the satellite radio or the Bluetooth controls. Um, again, very easy. You'll find uh, you'll find which preference you like, and you can control it hands-free using the radio controls right on the wheel. Okay, now let's go to the phone. So obviously, I have to set up my phone here. The phone is very easy to pair. Um, you just need to go into your Bluetooth and find uh, the Ford Sync and connect it there. And then you have access to all the different options, which I'm going to pair my phone to this one here. Confirm that the pin displayed on Sync matches the pin displayed on your device. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Okay, so once I set up my phone, it prompts me to auto download my contacts. What that means is it takes the contacts from my cell phone and puts it right into the vehicle. Uh, that way I can make calls and have those contacts accessed very easily. It also has a new safety feature that they added with this Sync 3. It didn't prompt me because I've already answered the question, but basically what it is is a 911 assist. And basically what that does is it's going to automatically call 911 if you're in an accident and your airbase is deployed. It provides um, the person at the call center with details of your location and of the vehicles so that they know if you can't make the call, it's already been called for you. Um, which is pretty neat. Now that I've set up my phone, I can do a ton of different things. Like I already mentioned, play music, but I can make calls, answer calls, all using the voice commands and the hands-free um, button. Please say a command. You can say call home, call work, find an address. But what I would want to do is I would just find anybody in my contacts and just say. Please say a command. Call Mike. I found multiple results. I got a couple mics in my phone, so it brings up all the mics. Line one. Call Mike from the cell. So now it's gonna call him. And as you can see, it pops up right on the screen there. The voice command is a lot more improved this year from the My Touch. Very seamless. Um, in the My Touch, it was very hard for her to recognize the cities or the names of what you're saying on the voice commands. Now it's very easy, very seamless. You can also make calls using the touch screen. I can go through, see, I can see all my contacts here and I can scroll through them and I can just find whoever I want to call. And here I can call my mom here. And there's all her phone numbers that I have saved in here, her office, her cell. And then it comes up right on the touch screen for me to call. I can also use the, the controls on the wheel to answer, hang up, and adjust the volume. 
It also has a text messaging assistant. So when I get a text message, it's going to pop up and it's going to tell me I have a text message and ask me if I want to read or reply to that text message. I can't show you that because nobody's texted me, but I can pick this one here. Um, here's my friend telling me to give me a shout when I'm off work. So once he texts me, it pops up like this and I can hit the display. I can call him directly or I can reply. Now there's a couple preset text messages saved. So I can quickly reply to his response. So if he asks me to give him a call, I can say I'm running a few minutes late and I can send him that text message right from the touch screen. Uh, very easy to use. And now my message is sent. To make a call, again, you would want to use the voice commands, but you can also see I can make a call directly right from the manual pad there. I can go through my recent calls and see all my recent calls. Very easy to use for the cell phone. Another cell phone option that I cannot show you right now is the Ford Pass, which is very cool. Um, basically, when you set it up to the vehicle, you can use your cell phone to remote start the car lock and unlock the vehicle check your maintenance schedules and your account information all done on the ford ford pass it's very neat and very easy to use but i can't show you that uh, in the vehicle here okay so let's move on to the navigation which is right below here nav or you can just click the map there so it's very easy to use um, seamlessly displays uh, your street view there as you can see I can use the pinch to zoom and it tells me where my street is I can zoom in with the touchscreen buttons here up to 10 kilometers you can zoom out from and get a nice bird's eye view you can do a topographic map or 3d map there as you can see there's a couple different maps now my favorite part about using the Navi is this one box search that you can see here so I just hit search it works just like an internet search engine um, like Google or Yahoo where you just type in the address the city the business name the points of interest whatever it is and if it's a popular popular place it will be on there um, to give you an example let's say I just want to find the closest um, Baskin Robbins just off the top of my head As you can see, it does have the auto predict where it's gonna pop up there and I don't have to keep typing it. I can just press it there. And then it's gonna search for the closest Baston Robbins and tell me. So here you can see this one's 18 kilometers away. Um, there's not many close by here, but let's pick this one in the Niagara Falls. So once I select it, I can call them just to double check out if they're open. I can save them if I wanna go back, uh, but let's just start the map here. Please proceed to the highlighted route and then the route guidance will start. So you have the voice uh, commands telling you your directions. You can see right at the top is my next turn, uh, which is in 60 meters. I'm going to be turning on to Merit. That's what it shows you at the top. On the top right is my time of arrival. So I should get there around 425 if I leave right now. Um, once I've set a destination, I can bring up this menu here. Um, here I can see what highway I'm on, what uh, the compass, if I'm going north, south, east. I can bring up this menu. And this is really neat. Just like Google Maps, I can see all my different traffic. Um, if there's accidents or construction, I can see it right on the traffic here. Um, I can see a bird's eye view of the whole route. See there, I can see the route exactly where I'm going. If I want to set a detour or anything like that, I can set a detour to take me a different way. Um, see, and then it updates the times as to the different times of that detour. Um, another cool feature, you can pick where you want, um, what you want to display. If you want to display the map, your next exit, or the full turn list uh, you can pick that see there it's going to display the full turn list so you can see exactly what exits you need to take and if you're 
going on a toll booth or anything like that you can avoid using that route list as well I can also do a couple different things with the points of interest here as you can see if I'm in a city I'm not familiar with I can track down my nearby hotel and it's going to search for the closest hotels see there's the closest hotels to me here there's all different points of interest categories like movie theaters um, financials there's all different ones you can display right on the screen and again you can just swipe to find more there's all different ones you can also set your home and your work as favorites um, you can pretty much set any favorite as you can see common places you go to you can set as favorites it's kind of um, kind of funny to me because the, the places we go often we're gonna know how to get to anyway but you can save them so you always have the address saved I can also search through my previous destinations as well um, a very cool feature about the new sync 3 is how it updates so as you can see the little Wi-Fi symbol here um, I can connect to the Wi-Fi as long as I'm parked close to a router so to update the navigation all I have to do is park in my driveway in range of my Wi-Fi router and just connect it there and it will automatically download the updates via the internet it doesn't cost anything um, just whatever your internet uh, fees are is what it will cost um, different from the my Ford touch where you had to upgrade uh, using a USB or an SD card that you bought so um, new to that very cool they made it made it free to upgrade and you can upgrade wirelessly which uh, I really like here so that's the main uh, the navigation there as you can see I'm gonna cancel this route and let's move on to the Ford apps so as you can see you can connect to your mobile apps that you have saved on your phone once I sync my phone it's gonna automatically connect for me um, iPhone users you'll have to plug into the USB to do this the Androids do it wisely the iPhones you have to plug in um, I have an Android so you can see the apps that I have on my phone are already connected um, I don't have many that are compatible I have two which is the Ford Pass that I was telling you about and the Sirius XM uh, mobile uh, where I can log in and play my music there's all different apps conditions permit. you can do things like Spotify um, iHeartRadio there's the MLB uh, updates there's all different apps that connect with uh, with the phone which you can play around with and if you have them on your phone it's going to automatically connect like it's done for me here um, Domino's Pizza has one uh, Stitcher um, there's Glimpse which uh, where you can track your vehicle location so good for um, businesses who want to know where their fleet vehicles are at all times Spotify you can play music there's all different connect mobile apps that um, you can sync with the vehicle you can also use this Sirius Travel link which comes free with the satellite radio subscription um, so again like I said you can get traffic updates here's all the accidents and delays I can check my movie times um, it's important to note that this kind of stuff uses the data on your phone so if you don't have a unlimited data plan uh, you might want to not use these apps because it's going to kill your data very quick but there's all different things see I can check my sports updates you can check the weather for wherever you're driving if you're driving to a ski hill you can check see there's kissing bridge I can see um, the wind the snow and the skiing conditions going on there all done right from the car which is very cool um, again the Ford pass you can use it to lock unlock the car you can remote start the vehicle right from your phone it will tell you how much gas you have left it will tell you when your next oil change is there is a ton of information on this Ford Pass. Um, very neat feature. I can start the car from wherever I am. You can be halfway across the world and you can use this Ford Pass to start your car. So what's very neat about it, if I'm going on vacation for uh, six months and I'm leaving my car in the garage, 
I can set a maintenance schedule using this Ford Pass. I can set a maintenance schedule where the vehicle is going to start. Let's say it will start up once a week for five minutes and then shut itself down. It will stay unlocked the whole time and I can keep my vehicle maintained properly by using this Ford Pass. So very innovative from Ford. Um, let me know what you think about the Ford Pass because it is brand new and I want to hear your thoughts. I think it works great once you get it hooked up. Uh, there's a, a little strenuous process in hooking it up. You have to punch your VIN number into the app and uh, activate it there. Uh, that can take up to, up to 24 hours. So let me know what you think of the Ford Pass. Um, I think it's great and a great idea from Ford. These are the settings, so not much really to do here. You can play around with um, your radio settings here. You can adjust the speed sensitive volume. Um, clock, you can obviously adjust the clock. You can change your time zone if you want to know a different time zone. You can change it from um, regular time to army time. Bluetooth and phone, I've, I've already touched on here. Um, same menu as the phone. Navigation, again, is the same thing, but you can change in the settings. You can change a few different things. You can set bread breadcrumbs where it will tell you uh, where you've been. You can also have icons for the point of interest where they'll come up right on the map. You can also set, um, like I was telling you, you can avoid uh, toll, uh, toll booths, HOV lanes. You can have it search for open vacant parking lots. Here I can change it to avoid, you know, if I want to avoid the 407 or a toll road, I can avoid those toll roads or freeways. If you just want to stay on casual roads, you can avoid freeways in the nav settings here. Um, general settings is basically just uh, you can change your units from Fahrenheit to Celsius, kilometers to miles. Um, here you can see it's going to automatic uh, update. So this is what I was telling you about. See, I can connect to the Wi-Fi and scan for uh, scan for updates. There's a few different things you can do. Mobile apps, again, I was showing you here, um, but you can update your apps. And here I can see all the apps that I was just showing you there. Uh, the 911 assist, I touched on that a bit earlier. Like I said, you can have it automatically dial 911 when your airbags deploy. Uh, basically, when a crash is, is detected, it's going to call your emergency contact and you can set your emergency contact. See, I haven't set any numbers in it yet, but you can set it up to call your local police station, call your mother or your father, whoever you want to call when you're in that emergency, you can set it to call, which is a very cool safety feature for families. So I hope I uh, gave you a good display of the new SYNC 3 and I didn't miss anything. If there's something you want to know about this SYNC 3, please let me know. Um, again, just some quick selling points. The Wi-Fi over the air updates is great. Uh, the seamless switching between screens, there's no lag. Blackberry did a very good job with this. And the connection to your phone, um, seamless integration to your phone and there's all different stuff you can do. It's also important to note before I go that this one is the Ford Escape. In some of the other vehicles, um, like the Explorers and the F-150s, you can have your climate control right here, where you can adjust your heating and air conditioning right from the 